Come on, you bastard. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. Hello everybody, Grace still plays and we're back with more brick rigs, no time for BS. So since the aviation update there have been a whole slew of aviation like craft made and uploaded to the workshop and a lot of these things are really cool. We're going to take a look at a bunch of these and also something that I want to take a look at which is not an aviation craft but is possibly the most awesome thing I have seen yet which is a rocket launcher. It is called rocket prototype and it legitimately fires a freaking rocket that blows stuff up. We're gonna try that a little bit later. First, let's check out some of these crafts. So right here we have the F-22 by Puck. This thing is pretty damn badass looking too. This is a jet rather than the prop driven style of plane that we had before. Let's go ahead and spawn this real fast and see how it works. Now I haven't messed around with this yet. What kind of engine does this thing have? I guess it has like a like the normal style. Oh, it's got some, whoa. All right, we got some guns on it too. Sounds good. Let's go ahead and throw this thing. I think we have to. Whoa! It has. Oh god! All right, I think we're gonna. Yes! Oh, it's working! It has real thrusters. That's awesome! I hadn't messed with the thrusters yet. This is so cool. Oh boy! I'm not sure how. Oh, what is that even doing? I'm pressing the. Hold on. Let me go ahead and try and fly this thing a little bit slower here. I'm going to turn off the thrusters. Wow. This thing glides like surprisingly well. Hold on. Let me see if I can get us into... Oh, God. Oh, oh. There we are. First person view, baby. Oh, I'm going to crash so bad. I'm trying to pull up. Yes. Lay down the firepower. Hold on. We're coming in hot, boys. We're coming in hot. Oh. oh. <laughs> that was surprisingly... Like, anticlimactic for hitting a building at several hundred kilometers per hour. Right here, we have a replica of the P-38 Lightning by Weiss. Looking pretty damn good, too. Look at the size of this beefy plane. This is awesome. This is what I'm talking about. This is a plane. Now, this is a plane. Holy crap. Let's go ahead and taxi over here. Get the... Is that a... That sounds like it has a V8 in it. It sounds like the drag engine. All right, let me see if I can lift us off. Wow. This thing lifts off very, very easy. Holy crap. Drives pretty damn good too. 300, let's see here, about 300 kilometers per hour. Very, very stalwart driver. Can we slow down a little bit? Okay, good, we can. If we just pull back on, or press the back button, we can slow down. What an excellent glider. Wow. Okay, let me see if I can, hold on. Maybe we can shoot some buildings with this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, man. This is fantastic. This is probably, this is probably the easiest flying plane I've found yet. Very smooth. I'm like super surprised by this. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Let's see if we can do a barrel roll. Let me go ahead and try and, uh, let me go ahead and get nice and straight over here. All right. Hold on. Go down a little bit. All right. Now I don't know what the ceiling is on this map. So wish me luck. Here we go. Let's see if we can do the full roll. Come on, baby. Now we're, we're gonna need, we're gonna need a lot of, a lot of air. Okay, doing good. Oh, don't crash into the ground. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Oh, yes! The barrel roll completed! This is, wow. So yeah, if you guys want an easy to use craft. Hold on, let me see if I can land this. Oh no, we don't wanna land over here. I'm gonna end up crashing. If you guys want an easy to use plane for your, like the first one that you ever take off with, holy cow, use the P-38. Okay, we're gonna try and land this. This is the real test. Let's see if we can land this thing. All right, ready? We're coming in kind of hot though. 230 kilometers per hour, here we go. And, oh, this is looking good, guys. Wow! A smooth takeoff. And a smooth landing. What happens if we hit the parking brake going 100 kilometers per hour? Uh, uh nothing really. It just kind of, just kind of slows us down. Excellent job on the P-38 for drivability. Here we have a plane called the Plane Jet 2.0, I think. This is by Bibip31. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. 
And supposedly, this can reach the maximum speed of 999 kilometers per hour. What is this? It's totally silent. So, do we fly this? Oh, there we go. It is the sound not working? Nope, the sound's definitely working. Hold on, can this thing take a- Oh, whoa! Oh, this thing is fast. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, 500 kilometers per hour. Oh, Jesus. 600 kilometers per hour. Oh, I don't even know if I can turn this thing. Oh, oh no. No, 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 no. Wow. Well, yeah. This, I have no doubt that it could get to 999 kilometers per hour if we could stay on the map. Uh, maybe we'll give it one more shot. All right, one more time. Here we go. 300 kilometers, 400 kilometers, 500. Oh, wow. Oh, we're starting to lose it. Come on, 500, 600, 700. Oh, we're gonna meet the wall. No! Oh, I think we broke, hold on. Did we break through the map? I think part of our, oh, wow. Oh, I don't even know where we are anymore. Yep, we have soared right past the edge of the map. We are out into space. There's no way to stop us from falling now. Well, we'll definitely meet the 999 kilometer per hour maximum. Look, we're up to, uh, we're up to 750. Just kind of flying in our seat. All right, so the last jet managed to break the game. That was cool. I had to, I had to unload and then reload. Here we have the concept sky. This is by Trance, who has made several objects on the workshop. This, wow, what a sweet looking plane. This is, uh, this is like super tech here. Let's see what we got. We got those, we got those rocket propulsions on the back, coming up to about 200 kilometers per hour. Oh, holy crap. Why does it not want to lift off? Wow. All right, hold on. I must have missed, oh my God. I must have missed something. Oh, we're still going though. Maybe, maybe we'll be able to lift off. Ho hold on, let me, let me keep trying. Nope, nope. Got to see all the blocks though. That's for damn sure. Oh, everything's on fire now. There we go, I figured it out. Okay, so it has, oh, oh boy, oh boy. All right, no, 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 no. So this drives completely differently than the rest of the, oh my God. Oh no, oh no. I was gonna say, this drives completely differently than the rest of the jets. <laughs> Hold on, let me, let me recover real quick. Okay, what I was saying was, this drives completely differently from the rest of the jets. If you look, when I move my mouse, look at the rudders there, they have actuators. So that is how you go up and down. You don't just, you don't just like pull back on your mouse, which is how we were utilizing the steering for the other planes. You have to like, just kind of move the, the rudders in position and then, you know, kind of level them out instead of just yanking them all the way. Let me, let me try one more time with this thing. All right, there we go. We've taken off. Now we just have to kind of level off. Oh boy. All right, oh, 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 okay. Now for what I understand, this thing glides fairly well. Oh crap. You know what? Hold on. This time we're going to we're going to do the slow motion impact with the ground. Uh, well, at least we didn't explode, I'll say. Someone once said that when the physics slow down like this, it almost looks like the the damage is lessened to the vehicle. I don't know. I don't know if that's true or not. It kind of does seem like that though. I feel like I feel like when you slow things down, there's not quite as much of a beating that happens as normally when things move at full speed. All right, so now we've got an opportunity to look at several of the planes, many of them looking really cool, and some of them even a breeze to drive. Let's check out the rocket launcher, though. Once again, a vehicle by Verdeth, the rocket prototype. Let's go ahead and spawn this thing. Now, how you use this thing is quite unique. What you have to do, well, first, let's find something that we want to blow up. I guess we'll just start with these, these towers over here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna kinda aim up a little bit like this. Yeah, like this. Let's go ahead and zoom way back for this. Gotta throw the parking brake on, hit the out button, the left out button. Now we can, if we wanted to, we can move our little uh, our little machine gun here, but that's not what we're gonna do today. We're gonna fire the freaking rocket launcher. So get ready, guys. We're gonna press on the, the forward button, the W button, that's gonna ignite it, and then we just have to decoupler it. All right, it's ignited, decoupler. And it's away! Hold on, let- Yeah! Oh! We- Oh my god! Oh, look at the damage! I had no idea it would be like this! Oh, that's incredible! That's what I'm talking about, Verdeth! 
You outdid yourself, brother. <laughs> oh my god. Holy shit. Our vehicle is just flipping out through the air. Hold on, let's 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 repair our vehicle. Okay. That was genuinely insane. I the what kind of firepower is in this thing? Oh my god. I had ow, we just lost a bunch of our wheels. I had no idea the firepower was this insane. Ah, oh, crap, I'm stuck. Well, you know what? Let's see if we can fire. Let's give it a shot anyway. I'm going to zoom back out again. So press forward. Detach. Oh, we're starting to move the vehicle. Detach the coupler. There it goes. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a swing and a miss. But oh, it took both of the... It's still running. Hold on, guys. Look. Look at it up there. The rocket is still flipping out. Oh, it's wigging out everywhere. Where's it going to land? It's just twisting. It's just... It's just flying into the sunset. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, okay. We got two buildings over there, guys. Hold on. We got to take those out, too. All right, boys. We're going to go for the long bomb on this one. Ready? We're going to go for distance here. I think we're going to be able to get it. Here we go. Here we go. All right. So forward. Oh, this is awesome. Here we go. There. Okay. It looks good. It looks freaking good. Is it going to get it? Come on, baby. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> Yes! Oh! <laughs> okay. <laughs> there goes the rocket just straight up in the air. Verdeth! My man! Oh, you have created something special. Okay. Let's see. Let's get some vehicles out here and see if we can blow up some vehicles with this. Oh my god, this is gonna be sweet. Alright, boys. Here we go. We got a whole mess of vehicles. We got that lightning over there, the mini mammoth, the rail gun. We got a military transport helicopter. We got all kinds of stuff over there. Let's see if we can blow it up with this thing. Oh, boy. Now, I don't know how good this thing targets, so I'm kind of like just aiming right in the middle. I think as long as we hit somewhere close to where all the stuff is, this is going to work. Okay, guys, are you ready? You know what they always say. Talk softly and carry a... Shit. And carry a big ass gun. Here we go. All right, here we go. We got everything slowed down. Oh, that looks good. Oh no, it might be flying over. Come on, baby, arc down, arc down. Just arc down a little bit. Oh shit, I think we overshot it. I think it's gonna hit the building in the background. Well, that's one. Oh, kind of a, oh, oh wow. Okay, that was a dud. Hold on a second. All right, I went ahead and moved us back. Let's go ahead and try this. Let's try this here. All right, here we go. Rocket going and the coupler away. Crap. Damn it. Going f <laughs> flying into the distance. All right, you know what? We're just going to get we're going to get right on top of all this. Okay, we can't miss from here, right? I have a feeling that we're going to blow ourselves up too. Here we go. Come on, baby. Come on. Work for Gray. Work for Gray. Here we go. All right. Look at, Okay, I think it's going to arc downward. Oh, this looks good. This looks good. Damn it. No. I think it's overshooting it. Oh, maybe it's going to hit the ground. Come on, baby. Come on. No, it skipped off into the stratosphere. Son of a bitch. All right, so we're not known for our marksmanship. When in doubt, just get up right next to whatever you're shooting. This time, we can't possibly miss. Here we go. Let's do this. There we go. Oh, can it even get free? Are we too close? Oh, oh, there. Come on, come on, come on. Blow up. Blow up. Blow up. No. No. It's just kind of fluttering around. Son of a bitch! Come on, you bastard. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. That is freaking cool. Oh. It got the helicopter. It got our vehicle. It got that middle vehicle. It got the little anti-ant tank that I made. Looks like the mammoth and the P-30... The P-38 came out unscathed, though. Holy crap. Look at the destruction from that rocket. Oh. oh, wow. Okay, guys. So, there you go. Just a little bit of the rocket launcher. It works. You just have to get it right online when you're trying to blow up vehicles like this. I would imagine with a lot more kind of measuring, 
we could probably do some crazy damage with this thing. But the rocket is by far the most horrifically powerful weapon I've seen on the workshop yet. Very cool. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this episode of Brick Rigs. Loving the direction and the creativity and the variety within the game. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.